Hello and welcome to another Science Man Digital Lesson. Today we're going to do something a little bit weird. We're going to make an affordable microscope adapter for the iPad 3. And the really nice thing about, now this will work for the iPad 2 as well, the really nice thing about the iPad 3 is the uh, 5 megapixel uh, camera which uh, makes it uh, great for taking uh, uh, nice sharp pictures. Now if you want to use your iPad 3 to take images with your microscope, you can do it with any, without any uh, adapter. Just fire up your camera and what you got to do is hold it just in the right position uh, over the ocular lens. And it has to be the right distance as well. But that camera is so small, uh, the, the lens of the camera is so small and you have to hold it a distance from, from the, uh, the microscope ocular lens that it'll pretty much drive you crazy trying to hold it in the, in the correct position. So, uh, to make an adapter, uh, you, can, you can do it pretty easily uh, just by taking advantage of a neat little um, uh, lip on these uh, ocular lenses. Almost all these ocular lenses have a, a little bit of a, a groove. Usually they, they have them to hold these uh, eye cups in place, but we're going to take the eye cup off. And then we're going to take a rubber stopper, and I've found that a, a number 5 or number 6 rubber stopper works nice for this. Uh, obviously it's going to vary depending on what your ocular lens is, the size of yours, but a number five on mine uh, fits just right and you can see that it fits right in that groove uh, and it doesn't move. So then what we're going to do is uh, cut down and adapt this rubber stopper to the point that it, it looks like this. And to do that uh, very simple materials. Uh, all you need is a, a Zacto knife and a, uh, a cork bore. If you don't have a cork bore, there are other ways to, uh, to drill a hole, but a cork, biggest cork bore you have uh, works really nice. Um, some sandpaper and uh, a caliper just to check, the, uh, check the, uh, the, the thickness of the rubber stopper. So to do this, um, the, the, the thickness of the rubber stopper you're going for is about four millimeters. So um, just go a little bit more than four millimeters on your uh, rubber stopper and uh, cut your rubber stopper. Uh, just cut it just right off and then um, use your cork bore to get right centered in, the, in what uh, you've cut off and uh, cut a hole in it. And then uh, all you need to do is put your sandpaper on the counter and uh, grind it off and keep grinding and checking and grinding and checking uh, with your caliper until you get right at about four uh, millimeters, uh, 4.1 millimeters be just fine. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to take this um, uh, rubber stopper that we've adapted and we're going to attach it to a silicone sleeve. Now I just got this silicone sleeve for eight bucks, get the cheapest one you can. Uh, I got this on eBay. And the idea is we're going to take this and just use a little bit of epoxy to attach that rubber stopper right in that position. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the, uh, the final product and some images that we get from our, our new system. So here's what the final product will look like. Uh, your uh, rubber stopper will stick out the side uh, a little bit off, off the tapered edge. That doesn't matter. There's no need to glue it over the tapered edge. Uh, you only need to glue it on the flat part of your cover. Another tip is to rough up the um, cover a little bit where you're going to glue it with some sandpaper. That'll make the glue uh, stick a little better. If it doesn't stick the first time, just keep trying. And uh, then uh, you're ready to go. All you need to do is now flop your iPad onto your microscope and it'll be in the uh, perfect position every time you want to take an image. So here we have a little bit of uh, footage for you. I just uh, grabbed some stuff from the garden and threw it under the dissecting microscope. Uh, we have some very clear beautiful footage of a worm here. You can even see the pulsing of its uh, circulatory system. So you can also see the edges of the field of view and if yours are a little bit uh, too narrow uh, and you don't like what you see, you may want to just pop your adapter back off your uh, iPad and, and tweak it a bit more, maybe do a little bit more sanding, make it thinner. 
uh, you might have to make two or three attempts until you get it just right. Uh, don't give up, uh, you'll get it. Uh, as for using this with the uh, for, for students in the classroom, if you're lucky enough to have an iPad or iPads, uh, once you have these adapters on, it's just great for moving from microscope to microscope. And students can uh, even work in pairs as one holds it to the microscope, uh, another can uh, do the focusing. So you can actually do your focusing and see um, that right on the iPad. Uh, so thanks uh, for, for viewing this digital lesson. I hope you like this uh, iPad adapter tip.